Good afternoon, graduands and guests. On behalf of Canterbury Christ Church University, I would like to welcome you to the cathedral today. Your degree ceremony is due to start very shortly. Before we begin, I would like to make a few announcements to ensure that all runs smoothly. Firstly, I would ask that guests please remain seated throughout the ceremony to make sure everyone has the best view they can. Secondly, if you have anything with an alarm or a ringtone, please switch it off now so that it doesn't interrupt proceedings. If a full evacuation of the cathedral is required, this will be announced by the vergers. The congregation will be directed to the designated exit points and will move to the relevant assembly area outside. Please do not re-enter the cathedral until instructed to do so. May I also remind you that it's not permitted to take photographs or videos within the cathedral, but please do take advantage of the wonderful cathedral precincts outside after the ceremony. The ceremony is being live streamed and will also be available for on-demand viewing on the university's website later today, so you can share your success with those who couldn't attend. We will begin the ceremony shortly with a procession of academic staff, followed by university governors, civic dignitaries and members of the university, university's senior management team. Please remain seated for these processions. However, I would be grateful if those who are able would stand for the final procession, that of the principal officers led by the mace bearer. I will give you a signal to let you know when this is starting so you know when to stand. Graduates, please don't be nervous. Once we reach the part of the ceremony where your degrees are awarded, you will be led from your seat by one of the ushers and directed towards the front of the cathedral. It is essential that you remain in the order in which you've been placed or you may find yourself receiving someone else's award. You should come up the small ramp to the dais and meet the Vice-Chancellor. He will shake you by the hand and offer his congratulations. At this point, a big smile is recommended. Once you've been presented with your award, please follow your predecessor from the dais down the centre aisle of the nave and back to your seat. At that point, feel free to relax and take a deep breath. The hard part is over. Guests, at the end of the ceremony, I would ask that you all remain in your seats until after the staff and graduates have processed out of the cathedral, at which point the ushers will invite you to leave row by row. For those of you who have booked tickets, a drinks reception is being held for you after the ceremony at the North Holmes campus. Finally, we hope you enjoy this unique occasion. We know it means a lot to all of you who have studied so hard and to your friends and your family who have supported you through your time at the university. Please enjoy your day and take time to reflect on your success. Congratulations and thank you.
It is my great pleasure as Pro-Chancellor to welcome all of you on behalf of Canterbury Christchurch University to this wonderful cathedral on this very special day. Canterbury is England's oldest cathedral. It was founded in 597 AD by Bishop St Augustine and the university has deep and historical ties of faith and scholarship to this wonderful seat of worship and heritage. Indeed, the university sits immediately next to the UNESCO World Heritage Site, comprising the cathedral, the ruins of St Augustine's Abbey, and the Church of St Martin, the oldest church in England. There could not be a more fitting place for our graduates to receive their degrees than this unique setting. It gives me huge pride when I see graduates of this university completing their studies and receiving their degrees. To each and every student who will graduate today, I offer my warmest congratulations. Each one of you has not only faced the rigour and labour of your studies, you have done so in the aftermath of a global pandemic and during a cost of living crisis. Your commitment in such times has not gone unnoticed and you may take particular satisfaction from having surmounted all obstacles in receiving your degrees today. Graduation is the most important rite of passage. The culmination of many years of hard work, moving from graduate to graduate, from undergraduate to postgraduate, from student to employee or entrepreneur, from one stage of citizenship to the next. Graduation is both a personal experience for each graduating student and one shared by their families, friends and supporters. These include the academic and professional services staff of the university, many of whom are here to witness with great pride a moment that is significant to them too, to join you in celebrating that moment and to wish our graduates all the very best as you move onwards and upwards to the next stage of your life. And I now invite Professor, Professor Rama Thirunamachandran, the Vice-Chancellor, to address you. Pro-Chancellor, High Sheriff of Kent, Sheriff of Canterbury, distinguished and honoured civic guests, ladies and gentlemen and graduates. It gives me great pleasure to add my welcome to the welcome you have received from our Pro Chancellor. Graduations are indeed the highlight of our academic calendar. Today is a day when we celebrate your success, your hard work, your commitment and your achievements. Graduation marks the conclusion of an influential period in your personal journey. 2024 will be remembered as your year one in which you completed your studies and which marks a tremendous milestone in that personal journey and hence an year in which you have both earned and thoroughly deserved the right to graduate in this ceremony in this magnificent and historic <laughs> cathedral whose name of Christchurch our university shares. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Dean and the Chapter for allowing us the use of the cathedral today. At the heart of our purpose as a university is our commitment to provide a high quality learning experience to all our graduates. Not just to give them a fine education, but to work in partnership with our students, preparing them to achieve their potential as engaged, informed and active members of our society. I hope this will ring true for all those graduating today. At a time when the economic climate is challenging, we are confident that you, as Canterbury Christchurch University graduates, are well positioned for the future. 
in the most recent independent national survey on graduate employability, the university was ranked first in the UK for graduates in employment. I hope this will give you confidence as you take the next steps in your life journey. We as a university are very proud of the employment record of our graduates, and I hope you will be too. Graduation ceremonies are rightly about looking back at achievements, your achievements, but they're also a moment to look towards the future. We want our graduates to live lives of service. We want you to think globally, but also act locally. We want you to be citizens of character and through your learning become constructive, creative and most of all caring. We want you to be agents of innovation and transformation. Whilst the 20th and 21st centuries have seen much progress in terms of the arts, sciences, engineering, technology, health and medicine, the world still faces huge challenges. Poverty, famine, disease, climate change and security are just a few. In December 2023, we saw nearly 200 nations come together to tackle climate change. At the same time, the world population is now in excess of 8 billion. Over the past four years, we've seen how science, technology and medicine have played an important role in fighting the COVID pandemic. As graduates of today, you will be the architects of tomorrow. You are the generation which will be using exciting new transformative technologies, such as artificial intelligence, with an opportunity to harness, I hope wisely, its potential as a valuable tool for growth and to solve many of these real world problems. In a fast changing world, be confident, expect the unexpected, and embrace new challenges and opportunities as you embark on the next exciting stage of your lives. As you strive for personal and professional su success, remember compassion and empathy. Use your education wisely and be someone who works towards a more <coughs> inclusive, just and sustainable future. The fact that over the last four years our students undertook some 26,000 hours of volunteering in our communities shows their commitment to wanting to make a difference, a commitment to wanting to help others and to put something back into our society. I'm often reminded by what President John F. Kennedy said, ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Before I close, I would like to say a special thank you to our mace bearer, John Christie. A special thank you for his excellent service in leading the principal officer's procession in graduation ceremonies over very many years. These ceremonies today in Canterbury are the last for John in advance of his retirement. So a huge thank you, John, for all you've done at graduations. Finally, as you graduate today, you become a member of the Canterbury Christchurch University Alumni Association. As our alumni, you are our most important ambassadors. So take the spirit of Christchurch with you wherever you go and support the university in whatever way you can. Once again, many congratulations on what you've achieved and all the very best for the future. Guests, Please enjoy the pageantry, the setting, the fellowship and the music. And for those who will receive their degrees shortly, this is your day, your achievement and your university.
I present these students of Canterbury Christchurch University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science. Ellie Davis. Rebecca Newland. I present these students of Canterbury Christchurch University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours. Louise Jenkins. <laughs> Natalie Baxter Evans. <laughs> Miriam Anadjani. Kira Anand. <laughs> Rachel Barnes. <laughs> Holly Batterson. <laughs> Holly Brim. Tracy Brooks. <laughs> Donna Bullard. <laughs> Roxy Burr. <laughs> Camilla Catherine. Mia Kassam. Charlotte Catchpole. John Chambers. Leonora Cinco. Leanne Clark. <laughs> Jennifer Collins. <laughs> Chloe Cooney. <laughs> Zoe Cox. Lucy Crouch. <laughs> Mia Crow. <laughs> Emma Davis. <laughs> Amanda Dean. Caroline Dean. <laughs> Ellie Dobson. <laughs> Paige Edgar. <laughs> Davina Edwards. Molly Edwards. <laughs> Lorraine Epps. <laughs> Catherine Equaco and Lowell. <laughs> Charlotte Farris. Holly Fitzgerald. <laughs> Megan Frost. <laughs> J. 
Charity Garda. Anuska Gabuja Hun. Jade Garcia. Sadie Garrity. Samuel Gere. George. <laughs> Betty George. <laughs> Hannah Goodall. <laughs> Helena Gornham. Christina Quatil. <laughs> Heidi Grogan. <laughs> Lakshmi Gurung. <laughs> Solabadia Gurung. Emma Harris. Lisa Harris. Poppy Hayes Miles. Carla Hickmott. Sophie Hughes. Marianne Ibe. Nicola Kingsley. Samantha Landiano. Siobhan Leddy. <laughs> Ming Kwak Lee. <laughs> Sikam Limbu. <laughs> Catherine Lucas. Alice McLaren. <laughs> Lauren Morris. <laughs> Sabina Elbow. <laughs> Jasmine Natarajan. <laughs> Kelly Newbold. Of Newbury. <laughs> Francesca Oganara. Rod 
Lucas Coquerel. Nikita Kun. Maria Rickethall. Ella Rodrigo. Caroline Rogers. Fatima Sampang Rai. Paige Sawkins. Mia Scott. Olivia Stapley. Sophie Stroud. Simran Sanoa. Abirami Swaminathan. Gabenasola Taiwo. <laughs> Nabina Taman. <laughs> Mary Tannehill. <laughs> Esmita Tawa. Amy Thacker. <laughs> Sabita Tata. <laughs> Haley Terrell. <laughs> Tushi Odette. Louise Ward. <laughs> Peter Wawero. <laughs> Samantha Weston. <laughs> Adesifat Youssef Adewuyi. Lois Ellenson. <laughs> Amy Griffin. <laughs> Phoebe Hawkins. <laughs> Alia Houghton. Kendall Irving. <laughs> Lewis Jones. <laughs> Shannon Layton. <laughs> Lucinda Messer. Emma Nelson. Brooke Norris. Darlay and Marley Faitas. Jessica Price. Tanya Rose. <laughs> Tanobla Saki. <laughs> Ellie 
Mae Smith. Ellie Snape. Erin Twomey. Sophie Williams. India Butler. Molly Ann Clark Smith. Melanie Hissey. Amanheni Idahe. Daniela Infante Orbe. Emanuela Johnson Addo. Lee Jones. Holly Lancashire. Jessica Pierce. Omatayosi Adabandu. Jennifer Assam. <laughs> Natalie Atkins. <laughs> Jody Barsby. <laughs> Emma Beckham. Emma Braganza. Zoe Brooker. Jamie Browning. Jose Burrell. Jennifer Champion. Jade Clark. Isabel Contiosa Castano. Tia Cooley. Lucian Cooper. <laughs> Bartolomo Kuna. <laughs> Olivia Davy. <laughs> Shari Davis. Veronica Duskin. <laughs> Emma Marie Fairburn. <laughs> Neve Finley. <laughs> James Forder. Holly Fordham. Sarah Galbraith. Anna Gibson. Chloe Greenaway. Lisa Handley.
Fiona Harding White. Remy Hassan. Fleur Hines. Molly Hurst. Andrea Holland. Ruby Hook. Poppy Louise Hooker. Sarah Hyde. Daria Pettisis. Neve Laker. Jessica Lowe. Catherine Moore. Abby O'Donnell. Becky Omareg. James Page. Katarina Karina. <laughs> Alexandru Petria. <laughs> Catherine Phillips. <laughs> Jonathan Pagram. Suzanne Tolton. <laughs> Olivia Howe. <laughs> Marianne Rule. <laughs> Emily Sexton Mills. Olivia Sharp. <laughs> Manfred Sudu. <laughs> Chloe Skeet. <laughs> Rebecca Smith. Leanne Stoneham. Tessa Streetfield. Emily Swain. Rachel Webster. Students of Canterbury Christ Church University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Master of Science. Julie Babu. <laughs> Alexandra Bartlett. <laughs> Holly Dalton. Grace Dudiemi. Kim Fatal. Victoria Harding. Claire Heatley. Sandra Marti Navarrete.
Joy McKay. Pete <laughs> Perryman. Amanda Riley. Deborah Smith. Emma Jane Underdown. Andrea Wilson. Francis Nottage. Lindsay Burton. <laughs> Juliet Tree. <laughs> Kosova Adu. <laughs> Jeffrey Baxter. <laughs> Louise Hargraves. Emma Weber. <laughs> Lauren Begal. <laughs> Claire Whiteley. <laughs> Philippa Collins. <laughs> Cindy Atieno. <laughs> Abisola Kiri Odileki. <laughs> Abigail Horn. <laughs> Catherine Jempson. <laughs> Emily Markham. Familia Okonola. <laughs> Babisha Pandya. <laughs> Shannon Robinson. <laughs> Jasmine Walsh. Adeda Mola Akinjomo. <laughs> Ahmed Akinteo. <laughs> Mary Enuani. <laughs> Francis Ekulani. Olaide Ginadu. <laughs> Olusagun Obadina. <laughs> Olawase Olani Pekun. <laughs> Aramidi Olix Adesami. <laughs> Heather O'Neill. <laughs> Amelia Ogu.
I present these students of Canterbury Christ Church University, found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Naomi Williams. Jeremy Pinto Seha. <laughs> Abdul Hamid Noor. <laughs> Mason Smith. <laughs> Stepan Chifidzian. Elliot Larnock, <laughs> Joseph Moon, <laughs> I present these students of Canterbury Christ Church University, found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science with honors. Jamie Pethel. Mario Castro Rodriguez, <laughs> Daniel Clark, <laughs> Molly Ems, <laughs> Samuel Gomez Nieto, <laughs> Kenneth Hamblin. Odolfo Jose Matea Carrillo. <laughs> Pablo Manzales Gondales. <laughs> Francis Ipolani. <laughs> Olede Genado. Lola Montiz Loyazo. <laughs> Clara Perez Terezo. <laughs> Pablo Quantana Lopez. <laughs> Alvaro Manquita Pinol. Daniel Jones. I present these students of Canterbury Christ Church University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Master of Business Administration. Adidoyen Adikan. Mazida Akhtar. Osama Ali. Ashima Augustine. Lutheran Babari. Sayyida Laiba Batul. Pooja Pata. <laughs> Noreen Bibi. <laughs> Harish Shembakara Siva Dasan. <laughs> Rafa Chowdhury. Nishad Das. <laughs> Probaben Damisha.
Fatema Ritani. Mehdi Hassan. Sajib Hassan. SK Hussein. Shariar Kabir. Jogal Kalaria. Zora Khan. Darvit Khoran. Shamna Kutaki Yadif. Mohammed Sabib Manil. Kimia Merdavuda Akhivan. Arus Mohammed Vakir Sahibu. Rensi Mohsen Daz. Sundaira Mukatra Raja. Vidant Dambudiri. Jesofimi Ogandoin. Hawa Oladumboson. Palak Patel. Basil Powell. Hichikumar Barajapati. Raul Rajan. Sinthil Nathan Rajindab. Manikandan Rengasmi. Jay Lakir Shetlachmi Saradivi. Rehan Sarko. Raisha Sharif. MD Ahmad Al Sohan. Mithon Sakir. Arya Tombi. Leticia Sakna Chan. Tasman Tima. Sultan Salafuddin. Ayana Vincent. I present to these students of Canterbury Christ Church University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Master of Science. Murtiza Gazumdari. Muhammad Khududadi Arbanahi. Hadi Mansouri.
Petro Prefti. Sourav Rai. Sagar Kumar Surati. Arslan Ansar. Anoop Vijan. Lucy Cumberland. Atifa Karim Zeda. Chi McTaggart. Mohammed Mohammed Fazola. Justina Maroos. Leila Verstraight. James Beck. Carol Whedon. Holly Ryan. Septi Zahra. Mohammed Ahmed. Nasser Ali. Mohammed Ashraf. Fokral Hassan Chesty. <laughs> Govarthanan Gurusami Bandian. <laughs> Olukayodi Josiah. <laughs> Ammar Khan. Asim Khan. Hasnat Khan. Titileo Ojoha. Adidaya Oluwulaimu. Nikita Patel. Christina Raju. Saras Ramzan. Ajvin Bey Rathus. Shahab Safdar. Farva Sahel. Agith Therikantan Nair. Mayor Tikar. <laughs> Prince Owegabo. <laughs> George Whitney. <laughs> Stephanie Diano.
Cheyenne Jenkins. Ashling Lakey. Georgina McParlin. Natalia Spontur Nardi Betrayers. Libby, what do you make? Katie Cannon. Charlotte Kant. Abby Carter. Kartika Shelva Kumar. Spencer Clement. Samuel Erb. Marvin Goff. Kennedy Goodile. Brendan Martindale. Emma Prince. Megan Pun. Adam Reed. Emily Roussel. Millicent Smith. Amy Tufts. Chantel Willis. Colette Dodd. Ili Adrian Pasco. Matthew Sire. Munira Sultana. Thomas Green. Megan King. Elizabeth McCarthy. Sakshi Chinchule. Victoria Lou Ellen. Dania Brim Nivas. Oscar Roberts. Oscar Roberts. I present these students of Canterbury Christ Church University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Master of Science. Bethany Goodall. Lorraine Shoot, Hasnan Abbas, I present the students from, of Canterbury Christ Church University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Master of Business Administration, Sophia Rahmani.
other than the students of Canterbury Christ Church University found worthy to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science with honor, Mary Dixon. For the degree of Master of Science, S.M. Mainol Atker. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Romano Riaz. For the degree of Master of Science, Amna Ali. For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honors, Clinton Akintola. For the degree of Master of Science, Josefa Zubair. For the degree of Master of Science, Mohadisa Ali Akbari. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honor, Amnata Elaine. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honors, Aliva Nash. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honors, Hannah Kiglis. For the degree of Master of Science, Ayumedi Fatugur. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Dina Cherano. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Kiran Kerr Sivan. The printed program contains the names of students who have not been able to attend today's ceremony, and I ask that these students be admitted to their awards in absentia. These students are admitted to their awards in absentia. That brings to a close the award part of the ceremony, so can I invite you all to give a big round of applause to our new graduates. despite the challenges you've encountered. From the cost of living and learning crisis to the aftermath of the pandemic, you have navigated these challenges in a truly inspiring way. Congratulations to each and every one of you for your achievements. Your individual resilience and determination, partnered with the effort, encouragement and support from university staff, have been the secret to this success. I would like to formally acknowledge the teaching, professional services and support staff from Christchurch University. Thank you for your commitment to delivering educational content and the student experience that our students will leave here today with. They can feel well prepared to maximise those opportunities ahead. Guests, families, friends and colleagues, we want to acknowledge the support that you have provided our students throughout their studies. You are all appreciated so much and without your investment and support, many of, many of our graduates would not have made it this far. So, thank you. Show your appreciation to all of the staff and university and your friends and family and anyone else here that's to celebrate you today. I'd like to invite our graduates to give a big round of applause. But our educational journey does not 
not end here. If we want to continue to be influential and make change, we need to continue educating ourselves, learning from others and using our voices to be the change that we want to see. All that's left for me to say is congratulations graduates and a final wish for the best of luck to each and every one of you for your future. Thank you. If you are able, I would invite you now to please stand. Let us pray. Loving Father, on this splendid graduation day, we offer you our prayers of thanksgiving for the stories of success created by each of our graduates, for the support of parents and family and friends and all their encouragers, for the dedication of our teaching and support staff, and for all who have made this day possible. Lord our God, we ask you to bless each of our graduates, bring them fulfilment, joy and satisfaction as you open up the road before them. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Our graduation ceremony is now drawing to a close, but I wonder if I could just ask you to be seated for a moment. We would be grateful if you would remain seated until the procession and our new graduates have left the cathedral. We hope that you've all found today an enjoyable and inspiring occasion. And when you leave the cathedral, you will continue to celebrate, I'm sure you will. To our new graduates, you are now alumni of Canterbury Christ Church University and we are very proud to call you so. We hope you will always feel proud to be members of and ambassadors for our, your, university. And I now declare the ceremony closed.